So for everyone, I guess, joining us here now, I um, would like to welcome you. Uh, my name is Doug. I'm on the product team here at Surefront. I'm really excited to show you how Shorefront can help empower and engage, uh, empower your sales teams and engage your customers. Um, and we'll go through a, a tutorial of all of the really nice tools that are more sales oriented within Surefront here. In just a couple of minutes, um, the webinar is supposed to start at 1230. Uh, so I wanna give it just a, a few moments to allow some of the other attendees to be able to join. Um, and then we'll get underway uh, pretty shortly. So what you'll be hearing maybe in a minute might be a bit of a repeat, but uh, what we'll do is we'll use the first portion of our time today to demonstrate a lot of the tools and capabilities geared towards sales and engaging your customers that are available within Surefront. And then we'll use the second portion of our time today to answer any questions that you might have. Um, so as you have questions maybe coming into the webinar or as we're going through different portions of what's available in Surefront, please send those in the questions or chat section. And then after we flip over to the second portion of our meeting today, I'll go through and we can address any of the questions you might have. So we'll be able to give you some more personal one-on-one -on -one type attention to see uh, what it is that you might be interested in diving a little deeper on. Great. So. Uh, now that it's 1230, I uh, just want to give a, another welcome to anyone just joining us. Again, my name is Doug. I'm on the product team here at Surefront, and I'll be the host for today's session. Um, we host these webinars every two weeks as a resource for our user community to learn how Surefront can best help their teams. And today, um, we're going to have a specific focus on how your sales teams can use Surefront to engage your customers. Every two weeks, we'll have a slightly different flavor but these will always be there for you to see what is it that might be new to you in Surefront? What is it that maybe we've just put out there that's new to everyone in Surefront? And it's a time for our community to kind of engage with each other and learn how to best use Surefront to help their team. So like I mentioned today, we're gonna to focus on um, the sales side of things, how to engage your customer. So to do that, we're gonna run through how to manage a catalog of product data in Surefront how to find that product data and leverage it um, and get it in front of your customer, um, and how to give your customer a first-class experience interacting with your brand. Um, and I just wanna repeat for anyone just joining us now that we're gonna spend the first half of the session um, focusing on how to use these tools in Surefront, and then we'll flip it over and we'll spend the second half of the session uh, answering any questions you might have. So if you have questions coming into the demonstration today, or if you have questions as we go through some of these tools, please feel free to put it in the chat or in the questions window, um, and I'll be sure to address those during the second portion of our session today. Great, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna start sharing my screen so that we can dive a little deeper, little deeper into the tool here. Okay, you should, should now be able to see my screen. Oh, it looks like we have to try that one more time. Great. So now you should be able to see a screen of uh, the catalog portion of Shorefront with a bunch of products already loaded into it here. What I'm gonna be doing um, is I'm gonna be using this catalog of items that's already been set up uh, as a portion to be able to show you how to best engage your customers. But then after we go through that, then we'll take some time about how is it that I set up my catalog data so that it's easy to get going. So right off the bat, I'm going to, I'm going to show you uh, how this catalog really helps you best manage all of the products that you might be working with, any kind of new developments that you want to get in front of your customers, um, and how it's accessible to multiple people on a sales team 
so that they can share it with the customers of the accounts that they're responsible for. So a couple of things right away. There are a couple of ways to get product data in here. One, uh, if maybe it's a brand new product and you're just setting up a handful of products, you can create a product from scratch, going through and entering in as much or as little product information as you have. Um, as you can see, we already have some of these products set up, so we won't go through all of that just now. And then another option that we'll dive a little deeper into later is uploading multiple products at once, kind of a bulk upload feature to get any um, large portion of catalog you might have existing somewhere else other than Surefront into your catalog easily. But either way, however you get your products into Surefront, once they're in there, you now have this nice, very visual tool for you to be able to quickly find and look and see what different products do I have at my fingertips that I'm ready to engage my customers with. So there are some really nice tools built right off the bat. You can filter by, you know, how new is this product? What kind of price range are we dealing with? Uh, one of the other things that you can capture in Surefront is inventory. So if you're tracking what type of available inventory you have before you're making any kind of quotation um, to a customer, that's one way to be able to find products. You can set up and drill down into a specific product hierarchy to find just specifically something like um, women's athletic apparel to be able to compose an offer. And then one of the other really nice features within this product catalog at Surefront is this tagging feature. So you can select products and you can group them and say, maybe I've got a new uh, line of summer styles coming out. I can see all of those things just with one click. And this is available to cut across your product hierarchy so that you can track maybe all of your new summer styles for um, women's casual wear, formal wear, athletic wear, men's. Um, this really is a good way to give you a cross section of, of the items that you've built within Surefront to easily find what it is that you're looking for. And the way that you create these tags, it's very flexible. You can just select the items that are related and then you can create a new tag. For this one, we might say formal. And now all of those items that I just selected are gonna be able to easily be found just by selecting that formal tag, which might be something that pulls outside of your product hierarchy or your typical product groupings. Now what we're seeing in Surefront in the catalog right now is kind of your first glance of each of these products. It's a really nice, really visual tool to allow you to easily identify, yes, this was the product that I'm looking for. But once you've found those, there is tons more information that can be tracked about an individual product. All I had to do was click on and it launches this product specific detail page for me where I can see any of the images associated with this product. I can see more in depth detail both about the product attributes as well as the costing and the pricing. And then I can also add additional things like attachments if I want to put in like any kind of um, CAD drawing or anything on these items. That's all available to me here, and this will all kind of live in the catalog within your central repository of data within, within Surefront. So that's kind of just a 30,000 foot view of some of the tools that are available in the catalog. Again, um, towards the uh, later portion of our session today, I'll spend some time showing you how you can set up new products within the catalog. But right now I wanna talk about how this catalog acting as your total um, central depot for all of your product information easily allows you to leverage that information and engage your customers in multiple different ways. So I have this nice large product catalog and I want to uh, send a quotation of my new summer styles to one of my retail customers. So luckily I've come in here beforehand, I've created this grouping or this tag, summer styles, and I can see all of these brand new products that I wanna get in front of my customer for this summer line. Now, I have all of these just at my fingertips. All I have to do is click select, and now I have all of these functions that kind of enable for me. So, there are a handful of ways of engaging your customers. We'll go over two of them today. One of them is by creating a showcase, which is more of a broadcast mechanism that you can send maybe this summer line out to many different customers at once. And one of them is a quotation which is more customer specific 
that allows you to um, individualize the details like quantity or prices for an individual or a given customer. We're gonna go over the quotation one first. Now that I found the products that I'm looking for for my summer styles line, I want to make a quotation by coming up here and clicking the quote button. As soon as I do this, the first thing that I'm gonna be asked is what customer do I wanna make this quotation to? So my list of customers is able to be segmented by different user permissions. So if you have a sales team that is specifically focused towards customer A and a different team that's focused to customer B, you can provision those permissions so that each of your sales teams are only dealing with the customers that they're truly responsible for. I'm gonna come in here and build this quotation for a customer that we made called retail customer. Let's say that we want this quotation to be for these items in a domestic collect fashion. So maybe they're gonna be coming to my warehouse in Los Angeles and picking up these items. And I'll create a name for this quotation that we call Summer Styles 2020. So now as soon as I hit this quotation or create quote button, it's gonna drop me in to a draft view of this quotation. Anyone within the sales team for this retail customer is going to have access to this draft quotation view. And what this does is it provides kind of a, a backstage area for you, you and your team members to finalize the terms of this quotation before sending it to your customer. So as you can see here, after selecting all of those items in the catalog, they all come along with a lot of the product details, really all of the product details that were included in the catalog. And we have this nice table view to be able to see top of mind items like, okay, what am I offering this for as far as price goes to this customer? Based off of what my cost is, what, what type of margin is that offering? You know, you have different customers that you customize the pricing for. Let's maybe take this one down a little bit because this customer is a big customer, so maybe they're gonna order a higher quantity. This will give me immediate feedback on what that does to my margin. Now, one thing to note here, when we're looking at this table view, we have a mixture of fields that are visible to both my team only, as well as my team and the uh, customer that I'm gonna be making the quotation to. So anything that you see here in purple, like unit cost or landing cost or what your margin is, these fields are all private to your team only. So that you can go through here and you can conduct this work with the confidence knowing that your customer is only gonna see the common fields like what, what FOB point am I making this quotation for? What's the quantity that I'm quoting? What price am I, I quoting them um, for each of these items? So as we go through here, um, one of the other things that's nice to do is to enter in an initial quantity for each of these items that you want to offer to your customer before you make this quotation. Now I'm just gonna go down here and show as I enter these items to be at a specific quantity, you can see that other parts of this table start to fill themselves out. So now I'm seeing what is my total cost for this specific item that I'm offering a quantity of. If my customer were to buy it, it's gonna cost me $1,550. My landed cost on this is gonna be $1,580, but given the total price that I'm selling it at, um, it's gonna end up being uh, $3,550. You just get this initial feedback as you're going through and you're playing around with what quantities would work best for your customers. That way you can get this overall feedback on an item level as well as a total quotation level. Here's the total quote price whenever I'm putting together this to send to my, my customer that they're gonna be able to come in and see. Another one of the really nice tools that I wanna talk about here is this chat function. So in a draft quotation, when it's just me and my team that are able to see, um, there's only one chat available and that's for me and my team members to be able to talk to each other. So maybe I would be a sales manager and maybe one of my sales reps is in here and they're putting in item information and they wanna double check what types of quantities we're going to be quoting with this customer. They can message me in here, I'm gonna get a notification and I'm gonna be able to come in here and see and immediately review what this quote looks like maybe before my sales rep sends it to the customer. So 
So as we're doing this, um, there are lots of other tools that maybe we'll dive deeper on in a different session, like being able to download or export this item information, being able to drag and drop to rearrange this. But what I really wanna focus on today is now that we took all of these items from our catalog, we've entered in the details of this quotation to be able to personalize it to the customer that we're going to send it to. How is it that we engage the customer using Surefront and their quotation tool? So we have all of this item information here ready now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click send. And then when I see send, it's gonna say, who is my customer? Enter an email address for the customer. Um, I'm gonna enter in an email address that is new for today. So let's say uh, April 27, 427-2. And I'm gonna say surefront.com. So one of the really cool things about Surefront that sets it apart really from any other system out on the market is you, your customer does not have to be signed up on Surefront. They don't have to have even ever heard the, the word Surefront before. All you have to do is create this quotation within Surefront, enter in the email of your customer like you normally would. Now you're also able to enter in one or more emails here. You just need at least one. And then you can put in a message saying, Hi, please check out these new summer styles. I think they would be great for your customers. And the moment that I hit send, what's gonna happen is Surefront is gonna generate an email and send it to the inbox of your customer. Your customer is gonna get a beautiful preview that we'll take a look at and then we can talk about how you start to engage them from there. So let me click send. Great. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to bring up an email that your customer is gonna receive so that we can see what it's like to be on the customer side of this engagement. So you can see, here's this new quotation that we just made and we just sent to this brand new email address. And right away, I'm getting this nice visual preview from Doug at Fairview Store saying, please check out these new summer styles. So right away, your customer has engagement at the level that they're used to receiving it from you via email. They get an email they're already gonna be able to review this beautiful visual-based quotation preview. And then all they have to do is click on the view quote. Now, when I do this, I'm gonna open it up in an incognito tab since we're already signed in in this session over here. But when we do this, it should show you, now your customer, all they had to do, they never had to sign up for Surefront. They didn't have to log into Surefront. They didn't have to do anything. All they had to do was click on the email that you sent them. And it's gonna drop them right at your quotation that you made for them, and they're gonna be able to start interacting with it. So they can come through and they can like some of the different styles that you put on offer. They can message you and say, hey, do you have any more sleeveless dresses? And they also get this same kind of detailed view where on their side, they're going to have the ability to look, okay, here's the unit cost that my, my seller is offering this to me at. Here's what it means for my, my landed cost. And they can work back privately on their end with what, are, what is this going to retail at in my store? Maybe I'm going to sell this for $89.99. So I can start to see oh yes, this cost would work well for me, or maybe the second one that I'm gonna sell for $59.99, maybe they need to get for a slightly sharper price. So on this way, they'll be able to come back and adjust the unit costs and say, can you do this for $27.50? And whenever they do this, this is in real time going to update the quotation that you made on your end. This is all still your customer's perspective where they're now able to interact with you via Shorefront. 
They're able to directly message you about specifically this quote, and they're able to deal, drill down into the specific quote details as a quote and for each item. In this way, your customer doesn't have to look at little thumbnail images pasted into Excel or maybe a PDF. They can drill down and get all of the individual, um, all of the, the item specific information, and they can communicate with you about any of the attributes of this item. So here I can see, oh, you know, maybe I'm your customer, maybe sizing wasn't well clarified. So I'm gonna say, please provide sizing chart. And all of these comments, all of the history of what's happened to this item on this quotation is all contained within Surefront for you and your customer to be able to leverage. So I'm gonna switch back over here just for one second. And I'm gonna bring back up what it looks like from your perspective. You can see anytime that your customer is taking action on these items, it's gonna give you a little badge that something is new as well as a notification up here saying that new comments or new uh, edits were made about these items, which is all coming from your customer, which is a really great way to start tracking how is your customer engaging with specific items that you quoted them. And you can also see this message that the customer sent me here saying, hey, do you have any more sleeveless dresses? So let's talk about that one first. If I wanna go in and say, hey, I wanna be able to as quickly and agilely react to my customer request as possible. I can pop back in here and click this add button, which is immediately gonna drop me back into my catalog. And I can start to look and say, okay, I wanna look for more sleeveless dresses. Let's look and see if I have a tag specifically here for sleeveless, and I do. So I can select the items that fit that bill, and I can add them back to the quotation that we were just looking at. So now my customer, while they're still logged in, are immediately gonna see that update logged in or um, put into this quotation with which they're reviewing. Now the action that my customer just took on this item, I can jump in there and I can see, oh, they made a comment about size. So I, can, I know on my end, my team and I have to provide a follow-up about a sizing chart I can just come in here directly and edit and say what available sizes this dress is in, zero, two, four, six, and eight. Now that customer is immediately gonna have that information that they requested right at their fingertips on this quotation. So you can see here between the chat tool that is on the quotation that enables your customer to engage directly with your sales teams via Surefront, you can start getting customer feedback and start to respond to them. You can see at this individual item level, when your customer is asking you any kind of questions, you can start providing those responses immediately in the tool rather than having to create an entire new line sheet and then download it and start to email them again. So I'm gonna take just one more second and pop back over here to your customer's view of what this looks like. In your customer view, one of the really nice things about Surefront is whenever I start to find out what items it is that I wanna follow up with, maybe I wanna start making a commitment for, rather than having to copy and paste all of this information in an Excel, into another Excel, and then into my PO worksheet, and then put it into my PO system, Surefront really collapses the amount of time it takes you from your initial customer engagement to empowering your customer to be able to make that commitment to you. So I, as the customer here, am able to select the items I'm interested in, and all I have to do is click order, which is gonna generate this pre-form a purchase order within Surefront that now allows me as a customer to enter in final quantities, to enter in ship windows, and be able to send that off back to you so that your sales teams can have the quickest time from offer to order in the industry. Great, so that, that's one really powerful tool, this quotations tool, of how to take all of the data that you're putting into Shorefront's catalog, 
be able to find the items that you're looking for, send them to your customer, and then give your customer the highest touch concierge service that any of their other sellers would be able to because you're able to respond to their requests in an instant and they're able to take the data and take the items that they want to move forward with and just take a few clicks and put together an order or a commitment to be able to send off to you in Surefire. So now I want to spend a little bit of time jumping back to the catalog to show you another tool that Surefront gives you to engage customers. For a little bit of context, within Surefront, where we are right now is we're at the retail customer specific account. If I want to pop back into my catalog, all I have to do is open this left hand hamburger menu up here and then say, go back to catalog. Wonderful. So now here we are again, back in a catalog where we have a lot of our item information and our styles built out. And we just covered how to use all of this information to engage a specific customer under specific terms and under specific pricing with a quotation. What we're gonna do next is we're going to find items that maybe we're releasing a new summer line or a new back to school line. And we don't wanna send it's just a one customer under specific pricing and terms. Maybe we want to broadcast this across an entire customer segment where many of my customers are going to be able to see and visually review all of the new items I have coming up on offer. So again, we can come in here and we can look and say, let me find what it is that I want to share with my customers. I'm going to select the summer styles again. And let's select all of those summer styles. Now, once they're selected, you can see all of these options, highlight again and enable. And instead of choosing the quotation option this time, what we're gonna choose is showcase. Now, when we're in showcase, we can see a list of all of the customers that I as an individual user have access to. So again, these are all highly provisionable. You can give access to different individual users on your sales team to only see certain customers. But here I have the list of customers that I'm able to see. So I wanna come in and I wanna select, okay, we're gonna share this with the retail customer and we're gonna share it with Target and we're gonna share it with Pacific department stores. Let's type in an email for the retail customer. We'll use that same one we just used. And then here we'll do Doug and now I can also indicate do I want this person to receive an email and do I want them to also see the price whenever I share this catalog or this showcase of items with them so I'm going to indicate yes to both of these and now I'm also going to be able to send a message and say Here's our fabulous new summer line. Inquire for more details on specific styles. So one of the main differences with the showcase tool versus the quotation tool is the showcase is more of a broadcast mechanism that doesn't necessarily go into quite the level of individual detail that a quotation does. If you're dealing with an individual customer in a very specific way and you want to make that quotation individualized for that customer, then quotations are definitely the way to go. If you want to share a catalog of new items that you're working on across a broad swath of customers to gauge their interest, see which types of styles they're keying in on, then showcase is definitely the easiest way to do that. You can see it was just a couple of clicks and now I've shared those styles with many customers. Once I've done that sharing, you can see each of these customers up in your showcase tab, what has been dropped into their showcase for them to be able to come in and review.
And you can also take individual items and say, oh, that one I didn't mean to put in your showcase. That was going to be an exclusive just for my retail customer. Let's move that one out altogether. Now, again, let's take a preview at what your customer is going to see. Just give me one second and I will bring up the email that they will get. So they're going to get this email. Again, it's a really nice visual email that contains the message that I had for that, those customers. And they're going to be able to see right off the bat, do I have interest in, in finding out more, which is one of the reasons it's really important to make sure that you have good product photos uploaded to your catalog. Because this is the point that your customer is really going to decide, oh, let me engage about these items or not. Again, all they have to do is click on this email. And again, I'm going to open it in an incognito session. Let me drag that over here. And now your customer is going to be able to look at all of these items right off the bat, favorite the ones that they like best, and then click any other ones. You know, if I'm interested in finding more details, all I have to do is select the ones I want to follow up on. Click request quote, and I'm going to say new summer style quote. And then they can send that off to you. And it's going to be available for them to have the same type of interaction and engagement tools that we just went through on a quotation where you can message and you can um, talk about specific item attributes and allow that, your customer to be able to quickly move from first having an impression of this item to being able to make a commitment and place an order through Surefire. Great. So now that we've talked about the different ways that you can utilize Surefront's catalog to quickly find the items that you're looking for, and then take those items and engage your customers either via a quotation to an individual customer or via a larger broadcast with a showcase to many customers. What I want to take a little bit of time to focus on is how do we set up this product data within the catalog so that we can more easily leverage it across our, our customer network. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch accounts and I'm going to sign into an account that looks a little newer and that doesn't have any product data within its catalog. So let me pull this over here. Right. So let's sign into this new account that doesn't have quite as much product data. Great, so now that we're in here and we're looking at it, you can see this is probably a little bit more what it looks like when you first sign up for Surefront. There's no data of any of the products in the catalog. So let's go through a couple of the options for how to get that data into the catalog. So right off the bat, one of the things that we can do is we can say, I wanna create a new item. Let's call this new one, two, three, four. I'm just gonna put it in category all. One of the things that we can run through um, at a later time is maybe how to set up different portions of your product hierarchy. Whenever you first get into Shorefront, uh, there's just gonna be one segment within your catalog, so you don't have to worry about setting up your different product hierarchy. You can always create items and then move them into the hierarchy that you set up at a later time. And I'm gonna say that this is a new leather handbag. All this other information we can fill out um, when we have it available. Maybe I'm copying this off of a sheet that I got from product development and I'm able to input all of this information right now. Um, or maybe it's something that I'm gonna start to build out a little bit more over time. But as soon as I click create, we now have this item specific page. 
on this page, I can continue filling out item information. I can put things in here like, oh, what is my cost on this item? Let's say 250. And what do I want to have as my default list price on this? We'll sell it for five. We can add specific images to this product. Let's add a second one as well. Which kind of builds out this gallery. Clicking on a product will also allow you to get a or clicking on an image will give you the ability to see a much more um, zoomed in version of the full image. And then one other thing I want to cover here uh, on the product individual details is anything that happens in Surefront is all tracked and logged. You know, Surefront's really meant to be a, a tool to help you and your team and you and your business partner team stay on the same page. Uh, so anything that happens here you'll be able to have full visibility into it. So you can see that I just came in here. I created this product a few minutes ago. I edited a few things about this product. I added an image to this product. That way, you know, if you have one of your team members that comes in here and updates something and something doesn't look right, you can drill down on this events page and immediately see what happened um, and who is it that I need to get in touch with to be able to see what the uh, best way to, to identify the the proper information for this item is. One thing I didn't get a chance to mention um, in a, the earlier portion of our demonstration is this catalog within Surefront is for your team only. Um, things are not shared by default with your supplier partners or with your uh, customer partners or your supplier partners. This is only for you and your teammates. So you want to upload new products that you're working on that aren't released yet. If you want to look and track cost history or price history of an item, that's all. those are all available tools within the catalog. Um, the only time that any of this information is made available to anyone outside of your team is when you intentionally take the actions that we walked through earlier, like selecting items and making a quote, or selecting items and sharing them to a showcase. And just like we went through earlier, all of the sensitive information like your cost and your margin even when you do things like quotations and showcases, those are all still always private to you. It's just the item data and the images that are shared with your customers to be able to interact with so that you can conduct your business as easily as possible. So that's how you make an item as a one-off. The next thing that I wanna look at is how do we make lots of items at once? So maybe you're used to managing your items with an Excel sheet or maybe a different system. Um, usually most systems, ERP systems or anything, are able to export to Excel. Um, so if you have any of your item information well organized already, a really great option within Surefront is to use this bulk upload feature. So to use the bulk upload feature, the best thing to do first is to download this catalog template. And this catalog template is just gonna be a blank template of all of the information you're able to put in. And I wanna stress that there's only a few required fields within this template, like the item number and which product hierarchy you wanna assign this to. You can see item number is required and parent item number is required and product category ID is required. Product category ID you find right here. Here you can see the product category ID for my catalog, 6263. Any of the rest of this information, there are many, many columns, but any of the rest of the information is all optional. So maybe if you're selling uh, apparel, you have things like sizing um, and you have things like material that you want to include. If you're selling electronics, you have things like display size or like battery type that you want to include. The only things that are um, required to include for this upload are these three columns right here. Everything else, um, is not required or could be entered later. So I want to show you um, one sheet that I already have set up with some sample information here. You can see I've put in the item number, um, the parent item number, and the product category. 
And I've also filled out some of the other data that we have, like the carton dimensions and the color. Um, and one of the other things that's important to put in here to make this really easy to leverage is this image file name uh, column. You can take any of the images that you have for a given item and put them in a comma separated list. So if you have one, you just need image file one.jpg. If you have 10 images, you might have image file one.jpg, two.jpg, three.jpg, and so on for each of these items. And what putting this in this upload sheet enables you to do is not only just bulk import the item information, but be able to bulk import the item images as well. So I'm gonna come here and I wanna download this real quick as a CSV. It's also important um, to note that this is a CSV based upload. So whenever you're saving a file to upload, make sure you're saving it as a .csv. And then I'm gonna take this information and I'm gonna drag and drop it right into this portion here. And you can see right away, we've just created with that drag and drop 12 new products. If I come back in here, you can see, oh, here are those 12 new products that have been created. I can jump into one, see the information of that product. But one thing that you might notice is, oh geez, where, where are my images? Um, because we were able to set up the image file within the CSV upload, we can just pop back over to the upload screen here. And I'm going to take a whole bunch of images that we have, select them all, and then drag and drop them into this upload portion here. And what this will do um, is it's going to give you immediate feedback as you're uploading those images, which of them have successfully uploaded, which of them, um, if there's any that aren't successful, it will tell you why. Uh, but what this will do is take all of that information you had in the CSV, put it into the, the system, into your product catalog, take all of the images that you're dragging and dropping in here, and it's going to hunt down each of those items in the catalog and put one or more images um, that are supposed to be associated with those items into the catalog so that you have a really easy way to build yourself your catalog of product data and be able to start where we started the demonstration of taking that product data and getting it in front of your customers. So you can see that process just uploaded all of those images. And if I want to click on any of these individual items, you can see that this one had four images that came along with it. You can scroll through this gallery of images and see all of them pretty much right at your fingertips. So now that we've taken the first portion of our time today going through um, how to find products in your catalog, how to create quotations, how to engage your customer with the quotations that you've created with Insurefront, even if that customer has never ever signed up for Surefront whatsoever, you're able to engage them with a quotation and give them a first in class buying experience. Um, we've covered how you can share products that are in your catalog uh, in a broad swath of your customer segments with the showcase tool. And then we've just finished talking about how it is that you go from a brand new sign up in Surefront to starting to build out your product catalog to be able to achieve that value for your sales teams and to be able to provide that value to your customers. So now what I'd like to do is I'd like to take a minute and um, bring up any of the questions that we might have had during this session here. So for just a second, I'm gonna stop the screen share and I'm gonna see if any of uh, these questions have come through on the chat. Okay, we'll give it a little bit more time there for some more questions to come in. Um, in the meantime, one thing I do want to bring up is how to reach us here on Shorefront. So our team is committed to being an available resource to you anytime. Um, and I'm going to screen share just one more time to show you where that's available. When you're on the Surefront system, if you have any questions about anything that you're using, all you have to do is come up here to this little question mark and click on it. And from here, you launch access uh, to our support center. Within our support center, you have the option of starting a brand new conversation with one of our team members. 
hey, I need some help with the product upload, or hey, um, how do I invite my team members? All of these things, again, um, we'll cover in more depth in later webinars, and then we also have um, some really great tutorial material built out. You can find an answer for yourself, like let's talk about things related to the catalog. We can see all of the tutorial information that we might have available, uh, whether it's managing products from a catalog or saving products to your catalog. And then we can jump into uh, the full support center with any of the relevant articles or tutorials to help us find what it is that we need. So we're always at your fingertips. And in addition to being available via chat or via this help center, um, we're also hosting these webinars every two weeks to be able to be a live resource for the community to engage us with their questions that they might have. Great, so as I see this, um, it doesn't seem like we have any um, newer questions that have come in here. So what I'd like to do is just really take the time to thank you for joining us today. Um, we will be in touch as follow-up to let you know of any upcoming webinars, what the main topic of those webinars are, um, and how to get in touch with us uh, if you have any kind of questions or anything that you need to reach out for. Thank you so much for joining, uh, and we hope that you're able to uh, get going on Surefront and using it to give you and your customers the best B2B buying and selling experience on the market. Thanks so much.